Okay, this is the um, April 9th meeting of the Conway Board of Selectmen. Uh, we're being videoed by um, Frontier Community Access Television for viewing later on by our residents and the public. Uh, first item on our agenda tonight is the, uh, the meeting minutes for April 2nd. Has everybody had a chance to look over the minutes? Yeah, they look great. Okay. okay. Any changes or additions? No? Okay, I'll make a motion that we approve the minutes for the April 2nd meeting. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. All right, meetings attended by select board members. Well, uh, I'm not prepared. Uh, I don't think we had any meetings. I didn't have any. Yeah. I didn't have any either. So, of course, right. the board. Quiet week. Yeah. Nothing. Nice quiet week. <laughs> yeah, it was, a, it was a quiet week. Okay. Citizens' concerns. I don't see any citizens, and so we don't have any citizens' concerns. Annual town meeting warrant. Do we want to um, put that off for a second? Yeah, let's hear from yeah. Jason. Okay. Oh, sure. We'll, um, we'll hear from Jason for, well, actually, okay, Agricultural Committee final draft of the right to farm sign. Mm -hmm. Do we have, is that what yep. you have? Yeah, I've, I've got okay. a couple couple things here, so okay. whatever you guys want Good. to do then. But, uh, yeah, so Amy Anderson's put a lot of hard work into this, and we've done some revisions of drafts. So we've got two that we're hoping to put up on opposite ends of 116, mm -hmm. and uh, as well as Waitley Road, Barwell's Ferry, um, and the Shelburne Falls Road. So basically like the five entrances major in entrances town. in town. Yep. Okay. And so, you know, we probably, we do one of each for each on 116 and then, and then for the mm -hmm. other, um, those would be bigger signs. And then for the smaller ones, nice. we talked with Ron Sweet about um, sizing. I should have written down exactly what he said, but you know, just to stay standard with what they can deal with with the road crews. So it'll be larger ones on 116, smaller ones on the other roads. Right. right. Um, so yeah. Do you have funding to, to pay for we, we, we have that, that request for, um, for town meeting. Oh, oh so, great. Yep. Great. So th then we'll work on that. Uh, I mean, with our luck, then we won't have much time over the yeah. summer, but in the fall, anyway, we'll. I don't, get I don't to the, remember it. Do you? Is it in the <clears throat> and there aren't, yeah. there aren't any specific well, requirements it's in, it's in budget. Oh, for right. sign in terms of, okay. of the format. Yeah, ex exactly. I mean, you know, we, we looked at all the other towns, and, and um, you know, folks, some of them were quite wordy, some of them were, were quite simple. So our biggest thing was trying to have readability, but, sure. you know, and have images that, that capture the essence of farming in Conway without, you know, needing to go down the rabbit hole of representing every single type of sure. farming happening. That I, I, I've seen many <coughs> yeah. different right to form signs and they're, you know, they're varied. Yeah. So you, you guys are welcome to welcome to hold on to these if you want. I can I can take them whatever's uh, whatever's easiest. It's possible to be tiny tweaks with font sizing or something when it comes down. I would say the larger the better. Yeah, you, you exactly. have other copies of that. Yeah. Right? Oh, absolutely. Okay, so you could leave those yeah. with Tom. Yeah, that'd be great. They look, they look fun. Could you send Tom an electronic copy? Sure. sure. Show him. Show him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. There. there you go. <laughs> yeah. There they are. And um, yeah, I can send electronic copies along the way. I'll I'll make sure. Maybe I'll do that once we know we have all the font exactly the way Great. we want it, just so there aren't Great. multiple versions floating around. Um, but, but yeah, so that's like 99% right. final draft. Okay, very nice. Thank, thank you for that uh, conversation. All right, next item on the agenda is the, the haying of South River Meadow. Um, Gary Totman, who was originally in that agreement, uh, has withdrawn from the agreement, and our new agreement is with Jason. I have a letter from Gary here just says to the Board of Selectmen, a <clears throat> request to be released from our agreement for me to hay the rose field and request that Jason Silverman be allowed to hay it instead. Circumstances have changed slightly for me and I will be starting to reduce the acreage that I'm working over time. Mm -hmm. Thank you for working with me. It was a pleasure to restore that field to a good working condition. Thanks, Gary Topp. Okay. Um, you have to vote to accept this resignation or not? Um, yeah, we'll take. We'll, I'll, I'll make a motion that we accept uh, Gary Tottenham's letter to come out of our agreement with the uh, the South River Meadow uh, haying agreement. I'll second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So you're the beneficiary of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, they, he and Lee did a great job. Uh, he did putting it back. <laughs> and yeah, you know, he, he, he assured me he, he got uh, got his worth out of it. <laughs> but. You just spend a lot of time with yeah. on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm grateful. All right, so we have um, the agreement with Jason. Now, <coughs> you've seen this agreement, yep. correct, Jason? Okay. Um, or at and, least I and, saw it, maybe, maybe I saw the draft. It, 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 it's the same it. one we had with Gary, yeah. but tweaked for Jason. And there were a few things about since it was the first year after 
after we had it reseeded, mm -hmm. right. you know, we don't need that anymore. Yeah, so right. I took out that clause. Okay. Yeah, look good. I read it on my iPhone. Yeah. Uh -huh. And the, the boundary is nice and clear since that's, there's the mode pathway. So I think that's, you know, I don't right. have any questions there yeah. unless it's, unless there's anything special. Okay, and essentially, <clears throat> the whole harmless agreement is yours to sign. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does it show the? Uh, does the map show the runover from the river area? Oh, is there a map on there? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah there's no map to show that we got, but yeah, yeah. this this area. And yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. They don't want that mode, do they? I don't have Acrobat. Um. <laughs> Were we mowing down to the? Uh, we weren't mowing the the area of the runoff, that that um, that air carved out area. That was the receded area, yeah. Right. Yeah. So he, he shouldn't um, mow that either, should he? You're, you're talking about down next to the river, where they sculpted the Yeah, right, right. It, it didn't didn't look like that had been hit or anything. So yeah. I figured I'd just stay up on the plateau. Yep. And yep. I think that's what they want. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Because the fact is, there's a mowed boundary all the way around for people to walk, so it's pretty easy to see where. You know, maybe uh, maybe eventually they would want you know, done once in a while just to keep the brush down in there, I would think. Mm. Yeah, maybe just just brush hogged or something. But so this is essentially the same agreement we had with with Gary Tom. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. I'll make a motion that we uh, uh, approve this agreement with uh, Jason Silverman uh, to pay the South River Meadow. Uh, in, a, in accordance with the uh, stipulations of this agreement. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. All right, and Jason, you, you've got this, um, this last part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think there are two agreements there, one for him and one for the town. Yeah. Thank you for doing it, Jason. Oh, yeah. No, I'm, my, my pleasure. It works out nicely, and I'm happy to help maintain. I mean, it's some of the best farmland in Conway as far as, <laughs> yeah. you know, keeping it in ag, so I'm happy to. Uh, we really only need two, two. so... Uh, so these are our two. And uh, these we, inside uh, the, the the these are, that's the whole harmless agreement you signing to. Should I be writing my name here also? Is that somebody wins it, oh, okay. where it says I'm witness where okay. okay. Gotcha. No, somebody's gonna witness it. Okay, I, I thought so. <laughs> um I I'll, I'll I'll witness it. Okay. Oh. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, those those are the two so and you're gonna add right, one of those okay. each. Okay. Um, Funny at the top, you put Jason's address and not his name. Oh. <laughs> It has been notary. Uh, that that's that's actually supposed to be your name too. Oh, is it? Okay. Um, I'll just write. I'll, I'll I'll write it in here just so. Okay. Yeah. That's good. I I should have uh, just filled that out. This came okay. from a form and. Yeah. I should keep or uh, uh Jared. Okay, yeah, thanks. That's just so we each have one. You set, Jason. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Good <laughs> Jason. Appreciate it. Have a good night. Yeah, you too. Here's 
the original one for signature. Okay. Go. Yeah, that's Bruce, the, I thought you were going to get the stamp something. Oh. <coughs> no, not today. Not All right, today. Tom, uh, let's go over the, uh, the, the annual yeah. town meeting warrant for final review and signature. So. Uh, yes, as I mentioned, the flurry of activity today. Um, first, um, the uh, Article 7 is for the police cruiser and the uh, Finance Committee their, their uh, final recommendation was zero in favor and three opposed, so that's on there now. Oh, they still flopped, didn't they? Oh, good Lord, you know what? Did they, they, oh, went, yeah. they went three yeah, against? No, that's good. Yes, they went really? three against at that, at that last meeting. I know, oh, okay. I thought, that's, the, that's the word I got from Alan today. So they changed, your, I, they changed their vote that. when they, okay. since they met with us last time. Yeah. Right. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure we had we had the accurate uh, vote on that. Yes. And, you know, I asked Frontier about uh, the point that Robert had raised about uh, saying that we should include and, you know, related for, for Article 16. miscellaneous equipment. And they didn't seem to be worried about that, didn't want to go back to the other towns and ask them to change what they had sent out. Yeah. and said, we can live with it the way it is. We think we can get what we need um, All right. All right. with that. Good. Does it doesn't change our portion of it. It's no. just, no. you know, we're, we're still no. where we are. Right. Okay. Um, Basically about 15% of the total. Yeah. Um, I had had, uh, just backing up just a little bit, I knew there was something in uh, Article 4. I have that being submitted by the Capital Improvements Planning Committee because it's money for the capital stabilization account. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, they never actually took that up. Um, so I think it should still come from them, but it doesn't have a recommendation. It didn't have like a number of recommendations, so I just took that line out. Okay. All right. um, but they should get into the habit of submitting it and recommending it. Absolutely. Uh, at some point. Um, then, under skipping down to Article 24, oh, um, before that, <coughs> you'll now see <coughs> figures under the community preservation. Yeah. We have numbers for that now. And uh, I preemptively said that you approved it three to zero, but a vote uh, would help. Uh, that was just for printing it out. So if you could approve it, uh, that would be great. Yeah, that's th th these are standard. These are standard numbers yeah. that that. Um, yeah, they're yeah. they're generated uh, automatically. Right. Right. Um, All right. So I'll, I'll make a motion that we. Uh, why did it? Why did the uh, annual revenues go so low? I don't know. It's like um, half what it was last year. The, it, well, it was ten thousand. The the figures that are eighty five hundred were were ten thousand last year. I don't know why that's the case. This is the number I got from the accountant. Um, if anything, um, it's less than it should be, rather than more than it should be. I think this is the first year he's done the capital preservation thing. But th these are the numbers I got from him. So mm, okay. that's that's what we can go with. And it won't be too much. If anything, it'll be. Yeah. Uh, less than it, it might. All right, I'll make a motion. That uh, <coughs> oh, yeah, okay, sorry. I'll Please. make a motion that we approve the uh, uh, the numbers generated for the Community Preservation Fund in uh, Article 23. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Okay. Then uh, under Article 24, um, it's much simpler wording now, and it's just for one year. And that's a language that I, uh, I just got from uh, Deerfield from Carolyn over the, uh, over the weekend. Okay. And yeah, I had spoken to her last, uh, was it last Thursday or the Thursday before actually, Thursday before. 
that uh, they were looking to change that language because there was they didn't want it to go out to the three years. They just wanted it to, to be approved for one year to start. It makes it a lot easier. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it does. Yeah. yeah. And I just got uh, a bulletin from the Department of Revenue's Division of Local Services today, which proposed um, some slight changes in the language in the marijuana tax article. Um, and they're proposing to use the words to impose an excise on the retail sale. So that's that's uh, that's how it reads now up there. Right. Yeah. Uh, okay. Slight difference in the language. Mm -hmm. To impose an excise on the retail sale or that's transfer concerned. of marijuana or marijuana products. Okay. And those are the those are the tweaks um, that. Uh, that I have for this warrant, which is now complete. Um, the motion, I, I left the um, the article to fund the well pump replacement and the liner the same, but I think the motion will probably be Love. just for the, the lining of the tank. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be sure that this pump worked. <laughs> essentially, mm -hmm. and you know, it just went in. So yeah. uh, I want to give us, you know, a, a month. What number to, is that one? To see how it works. Um, uh, that is Article Nine. So that's probably going to be about nine thousand dollars less. Could Instead you get the law company to give us a written report as to what he found wrong? With? I will ask. I've heard from Bruce Donat, but I would really like to have the, just really know, he, he said the, they told him that the casing rotted. How old, how old is that? Is 20, that 20 years, 20 years? 20 years. It, it's original to the, I think it's original to the school. It'd be nice to know what the hell really happened, you know. Mm. Probably nothing you can do to prevent it ever happening again, but. Mm. No, but we also ought to plan to replace it um, the next one in say 19 years instead of 20 so mm -hmm. <laughs> or something a little bit it gives us a little bit more uh, control over the scheduling of it yeah. all right so we're we're good here on this one huh? uh, this these are I it is complete okay um, I they, uh, there's the thing about the well that's going to, the motion's going to have to be different, and I'll be right. working on the motions over the next few weeks as well. Yeah. Well, that can get just on time, of course. So, uh, any other questions for Tom on the warrant? That's good. Congratulations, Tom. Yeah, it looks, Thank looks, you. looks very good. And uh, for final tweaks today, and Considerably a stunned. lot of changes this year, huh? Yeah. yeah. Okay. More than normal. Like getting your taxes done. Yeah, it, it was a complex process. Mm -hmm. All right, if there's no other questions on the warrant, I'll make a motion that we approve the warrant as presented by uh, Tom tonight. Uh, do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Next item on the agenda, Energy Committee to support the Memorandum of Agreement with FERCOG for Energy Technical Assistance. Peter, you're up. This is pretty simple, folks. Uh, they are able to obtain a meta grant much larger than what we might take, and it, they also want to be able to show that they're able to spend this money on projects. So what and, they've done is... And that's the Municipal Energy Technical Assistance. Right. program that's right. why it's meta and uh, what it does is just rather than us having to go secure one for ourselves and go through the application yeah. stuff which we have done and we have one present mm -hmm. it's just smaller project stuff we can bundle into theirs which seems like it would save us some money doesn't seem to be any downside to this we're not penalized mm -hmm. if we don't use it there's no big thing they're just looking to get more uh, people utilizing what they can that's grab just one year in there, right I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. May, May and, uh, yeah. So, um, seemed like a fairly easy thing to 
with no downside, but now they're well, willing to give us some help, uh, we can take advantage of it, and uh, why not? Right. They don't get the grant, we don't get bills from their services, correct? Right, right yeah, it's, there's no cost to, yeah. it's only, if we come up with something that we want to spend, that we would get a grant for ourselves, and we can get it through them, uh, we don't have to go through that whole uh, dog and pony show of getting right. it yeah, all set up for the fees right to the grant. Right. Yeah. We, we are going to be finishing up our Green Communities grant uh, mm -hmm. very soon, I hope in the next couple of months. How much money we got left in that? Uh, we Six only thousand, have, I think. Yeah, it's under ten thousand dollars now. So we're and just we looking for some, for the next round for some tweaks. Yes, yeah. and that's a competitive grant. The next round is a competitive grant. Mm -hmm. Comes out in the spring. So that's mm -hmm. one of the things we're looking for to use this. Uh, uh, we're looking to can use we, this money. Uh, can that be used on uh, weatherization for doors and stuff like that? That's $6, that's Six thousand that's left. Anything that we can. Um, Yes, I mean weatherization is, is one of the things that they're I think they're you looking have to look at. Walking doors in the town garage. Um, excuse me. I look at the walking doors in the town garage. Okay, I know they, they resealed the, all the, the, they, on the bottom, they resealed the big doors. Yes. They so that good. was done. On, that was one thing she looked at. I don't know that she had looked at doing the the walk-ins. We, we do have money left in that town garage article that we could spend on that. Uh, well, one of the things is see if the bathrooms need to be replaced. I know they're rotted some of the bottom. So. Well, if it's just yeah. the doors that need to be replaced, whether they're thresholds, it could be uh, redone. Somebody should look I don't at know. Them. We've still got some yeah, sure. issues with the town hall that we want to some stuff that wasn't done on that contract, mm -hmm. and right now we're looking at what it's going to take. Whether we can use that six thousand to finish that up. Uh, the last email I got from the the company looking at doing this, and he's not real comfortable giving a bid price on this because it's a little bit unknown what he's going to get into opening it up, mm -hmm. and I shot a note back to the uh, to Lee Brack, who is the engineer on this, saying that even if we just do one side, because what we're planning on doing, any else that we want to get done in that building, we'll apply for on the next grant mm -hmm. uh, and add to that. But uh, there is some air sealing that didn't get done at one of the junctures. I think it's right at the arch where it comes from the the vertical walls up to that slope seems to be the, uh, the yeah. area that they're looking at. Um, I will find, you know, if I get, if she gets back to me in the next day or so. Did they do a right. test like Mass Save does, where they put a big blower on oh, the yeah. door and all that? Oh yeah, that got that. done mm -hmm. before the project and after. And that's where yeah. she came back and said, we've made our estimate on energy reduction uh, for that uh, building, so we're ahead of the game, yeah. even if we don't do anything more there. But it, it's, you know, everything we can do is certainly gonna be to our benefit, especially down the road looking at what use that building might get. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. Uh, and I'm one of these people, I'd like get get one project finished before we move into something else and, and sure. get moving. If you want to do another building, then we'll take Your that energy on. energy saving lighting that's on the outside of the Highway Fire Station ammo space is excellent. Your people should be committed. It's very, what's very that? nice. The energy saving lighting you put on Oh the yes, outside. those were a nice that find, yeah. Very, yeah. very nice. Well, we started with one and then that was up about a week before Ron said, you know, order a couple it's more. Really <laughs> and everybody was going to like it. Really, really, really nice. So. Mm -hmm. And they don't. God, they're, I think, 10 or 12 watt wow. lights. So they, they draw. They light up quite a bit. You could leave those yeah. things all the time, and yeah. uh, you wouldn't see much on the on the they meter. But very nice. I have a fireman of comment about coming in the middle of the night to get in the doors and stuff. Well, having something so you can work when you're yeah. just outside the door yeah. is helpful. I know the ambulance people. For them, because very yeah. often they've got to pull out to get to load and. Well, they uh, delay. The load, they so. have to. They yeah. uh, they go through three overhead doors first because they've got yeah. the keypads out there. And it's nice to be able to see the keypads now. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and see what numbers the push. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions for Peter on this um, on this agreement for our municipal energy coordination services? Okay. All right, uh, based on the recommendation of the Energy Committee, I'll make a motion that we uh, approve the Memorandum of Understanding by and between the Franklin Regional Council of Governments and the Town of Conway for Municipal Energy Coordination Services. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, gentlemen. I hope we can make this work to our advantage. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Have a good night, all. Yeah. You too. Thanks, Peter. Good night. Thank the committee on this too, please. I sure will.
The next item on our agenda is to uh, request to nominate Carolyn Ness as a member of the Board of Directors of the Mosquito Control District. As you know, Carolyn has been working on, on this Mosquito Control District for uh, <laughs> Hamden, Hampshire, and Franklin counties for, it's got to be two years now, um, to get us some funding for um, mosquito-borne diseases that seem to be moving west in the Commonwealth. Um, so she's been working very hard on this, and um, certainly she knows more about this than anybody. So I would, I would recommend that we uh, nominate her to be on the board of directors of the... Uh, so would she be officially representing right. us, or just... Each town has one member of the board of directors? Or not? Mm. No, no. Can't be that, yeah. Each town can nominate only one person, and Deerfield has already nominated the, the staff person at the Franklin Regional Council of Governments, who's their public health specialist on this, mm -hmm. because he lives in Deerfield. So Carolyn mm -hmm. wanted to be uh, on that board as well. How many members on the board? I don't know if there's a limit at this point. I, I haven't seen any any limits on the number of members on the board. Can we get more information about it before you vote for it? Carolyn seems fine to me. I, I mean, she's the one that's I'm been just here if, if pitching it for us. I, I kind of assumed that each town had to have a member. Would you like to be on the board? No, I don't, but oh. I, I, I'm members of the board of directors. E each town does not have to have a member. I, I, the last that I heard, they were talking about having a rather small board of directors. Because if all the towns in the region right. had it, that would be, you know, 75 towns or something like right. that. It would be unwieldy. So. I, I, <clears throat> I would guess that Carolyn will be taking taking on you know the uh, um, the responsibility for Deerfield, Sunderland, Waitley, and, and Conway. You know, I, because it's it's not going to be one representative for each town. I mean, as far as I understand, we're we are basically signing a representative over to that board to the board of directors. When we don't even know what the board of directors is going to consist of. Well, that, that's part of the formation of this whole thing at this point. They must have that in writing by now. Um, I haven't seen anything in writing on it. And it, and it is just for one year. Uh, this is when they find out whether or not how much it's going to cost to run it after the, after the grant uh, is over. So it may be that, read that. that uh, towns won't even continue being a member of the district. Yeah, this, uh, this first year is just going to be an organizational type situation. Yeah. And talking about what kind of dues there might be. They want to see how many towns are actually going to buy into it, uh, because until they know that, they won't know what the, you know, what the dues, as it were, should be set at. I, so, I just think it's odd that you're appointing somebody to board of directors if you don't even know if the board's even been formalized yet. I mean... Well, the, it has not just, been formalized, and, and this is part of that process, I guess. I guess right now, nominations are open, so... Well, I mean, mm -hmm. you're saying somebody from FERCOG is going to be on the board. Yes, but because he lives in Deerfield, that's Deerfield has used up its... Uh -huh. uh, it is uh, the case, the way this is set up, that each town can yes, nominate one. only one person. So Carolyn So asked, something has been set up then. Oh, well, at least that role. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 <laughs> that each town can nominate somebody. Yeah. <laughs> I would have thought they would have sent the information along with it. How it was being set up and asked for it, vote for somebody. That's just me. But to me, this has been Carolyn's. That's <laughs> <laughs> just me. Yeah, Thank it you. has. She she requested that this board nominate her. Yeah. I'm, I'm thrilled she wants to do it. Uh, it's <laughs> yeah, she is. She is the one that's most knowledgeable about right. this. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and you know, I'm I'm not sure anyone in Conway has has the the knowledge or the expertise that she has in this at this point, or the desire, or the <laughs> desire. That's yeah, true. Right. Yeah, yeah. To deal with mosquitoes. What do you think, Bob? I'm going to abstain from voting. Okay. All right. 
And again, this is just this is just organizational. It's only for a year, okay? Um, and I think because of her knowledge of this and because she basically put this whole thing together, I think we're, we're you know, very fortunate to have her as, as a rep. Um, so I'll make a motion that we uh, nominate uh, Carolyn Ness to be on the board of directors of the Pioneer Valley Mosquito Control District. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Any abstentions? Me. One. Okay. Just like to see how it's worded before you point something. something. All right. So you don't want to nope. sign this. Bob does. All right. Yeah, I will. All right. Next item. Items not anticipated 48 hours in advance. Tom, do we have any? I have none. Okay. Town administrator update. Uh, for committee updates, Jason Hunter has resigned from the Park, Parks, Recreation, and Trails Committee, which is working on a reorganization. Uh, since I wrote that, uh, Megan Gump um, is also going off. She's uh, been appointed to uh, the board of a regional medical association, so she doesn't feel she can devote the extra time taking on those added responsibilities. How many people do we have on the parks now? Yeah. How, long, how long ago did we, we nominate Jason for this? This could have been too long ago. Just last year. Well, is it just since last, was it last I year? I think so. Was it in December, it was, wasn't it? I I thought thought it December, was, yeah, I thought it was sooner than that, right? It can't be more than six months, right? I don't, know, I don't know when it was. How many people do we have on it? Do we have any on it now? I believe there are five people now. Five left. Five left, mm -hmm. okay. So and they'll. Okay. I, I will say that that is a committee that has had trouble reaching quorum at various times. Mm -hmm. So it's not necessarily a bad thing that there are fewer members. What we do need are a lot of volunteers. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to be on the committee to volunteer to coach a sport mm -hmm. um, or to be involved. Didn't we appoint, in just recently appoint work. him to baseball or something? Um, Maybe that was it. No, that was. Uh, that was um, Jeff. Canapa. That was Can Jeff Canapa. Yeah, that's it, John. Canapa. All right. Okay. Uh, for town meeting uh, related news, I've reached out to the grammar school under Frontier Community Access TV regarding the possibility of overflow seating for town meeting. Uh, given the standing room only situation at at least one recent town meeting, I think planning for overflow capacity is prudent. We do have some peg access funds to pay for any necessary equipment. I'm not planning to go ahead with this this year necessarily, but I think it's a good thing to know what it would take to actually do. Now I know we can also put the uh, tables and the chairs for the select board, the finance committee, and the moderator up on the stage. It should make it easier for people to see as well. Um, and that would allow uh, anywhere from uh, 40 extra seats, which they have um, in the cafeteria, to uh, 80 extra seats if we took another 40 from, from the town hall here down. Uh, obviously much more of a, uh, a time-consuming process. Mm -hmm. uh, but I did notice uh, that there was at least at the beginning of uh, the last annual town meeting, I believe there was standing room only. Mm -hmm. and, I uh, investigated the building commission uh, through mm -hmm. Bruce Jonette to find out what the capacity of that room is. You'd be shocked to see what the capacity of it is. 340. Really? Well, okay. We've never, had, we've never hit over 200 in now, really, have we? Yes, we have. Really? Yes. Well, well, then let's let's put the put the uh, the tables and the rostrum up on the on I'll the, give house, on the stage. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that, that that's that's that will give us um, probably as much as we'll need for the near future. I do want to find out what it would take to have overflow seating just so we know that. Just so we know well okay if, if we're going to go to overflow seating this is this is the plan so we have something sure. in place yeah. in case we run into trouble at some point. 
um, it's 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 never a, a clean process if you have to adjourn a town meeting because not everybody can get in. Yeah, right. right. So um, yeah. is that I, the rule? I have asked to Bruce to have that. a have a plaque or, or a plaque made up or a copy of the building inspection report that states the number and, and putting it on the on the wall outside the room mm -hmm. to give the maximum capacity of the, of the mm -hmm. facility. Okay. Let's follow up our Bruce, with Bruce. So there's yeah. no question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's no question. Yeah. Okay. Um, in departmental news, uh, Kimberly McPhee from the FERCOG is planning a public forum this Thursday, April 12th from 4 to 8.30 p.m. with dinner provided on the Municipal Vulnerability Plan. This was uh, got its genesis uh, a couple of years ago when Secretary Beaton, Matthew Beaton of uh, Energy and Environment, came out to Shelburne Falls and announced um, this new program. And we followed up uh, with the COG on that. And uh, they have an, an outreach meeting, a community outreach meeting. So that's what this is. And for that, I've reserved the town hall. And we're doing that jointly with Ashfield? Yes, we this down is here. Um, we, uh, we applied with Ashfield for this, uh, you may recall, mm -hmm. uh, quite a while ago. And now, now this is finally happening. Uh, we need as many people as possible to show up. So I've written various committees that should be interested. Please, if you know anyone who might be interested, uh, I would think um, public safety uh, so it's open to the public. would be interested. It is, it is not only open, it is inviting. I won't read it because I have a, a frontier. Uh, oh, yeah, right. yes. Right. Right. Uh, committee meeting. I've got a, a, meeting meeting. Huh? There's there's a fur cog executive committee meeting. Mm. Mm. So. Yeah. Well, you can always come from 460 and... You're going to have to represent. I will be here. <laughs> if you want to go, but you can't... You're going to get free summer says. <laughs> you can let Kimberly know, and she will interview you. So, that's another way that you can participate. Uh, and that works for anybody who's interested as well. Uh, also, um, there's a great website out there. The Department of Revenue's Division of Local Services has a new Municipal Finance, Finance Trend Dashboard that offers graphic representations of various financial indicators. Operating position, unfunded liabilities, property taxes, general fund revenues and expenditures, demographics, and debt. And you can go to this um, website and it will, and, and then you just choose from a drop down menu, choose Conway, and you can just click on things and all of these historical trend graphs will come up showing is it going up, is it going down. That's it's, great. Wow. What's the trend? It is a fantastic resource. Okay. Right. Um, That's great. So, progress on the transfer station oil spill. The licensed site professional came and said we can remove the existing metal container. So oh, I've good. communicated that to the Board of Health and the transfer station attendants, and they are having that removed. He also took a number of soil samples. If they come back clean, we can go ahead and remove the soil under the metal recycling container, and that's the end of it. If the samples are contaminated, we'll need further cleanup and another set of samples. So we're hoping that can be avoided. Uh, I was hoping to hear by today uh, whether or not the samples were cleaned, but I have not yet heard. Uh, in other news, a resident in southwest Conway is planning a large-scale solar facility on his property. The consultant he is working with has contacted the planning board, myself, and the assessors. I will let you know if there's anything that requires select board attention. Isn't, what is that meaning? Um, we, we, I saw somewhere they had the, the planning board's meeting. A, a public meeting? Yeah, to discuss that. Mm. Oh, um, okay. I don't know Mary when that McClintock is. Sent it. Uh, who's on the planning committee? Mary? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Mary's on it. And, uh, all of us? and Joe. And I don't think I got it. I'm going to have to file Larry right back in here to find it. Done. Okay. Thank you, Tom.
right. Concerns of the selectmen. Do we have any concerns? I have that. Did you get a chance to look that form over that I gave you two last week? I haven't got much I can say about it because we, I have not received anything from Joe McCarrion yet. And I have no idea why he, he was going to send it up this past week and to every, all the members in the committees and uh, nobody got nothing, so. Okay, so. I think maybe, I, I, I what they've asked Joe to, to present this stuff, which he, which he gave some good guidelines, but at the same token, they're trying to get the Frontier Regional School District to join the council of government so that he can provide them with them services. And I don't think that has taken place yet. Okay. So that may be why, possibly that may be why we didn't get any more information from him. Yeah, okay. But okay. Uh, if you, they were gonna ask for a recommendation from the boards, I'm not gonna ask you for that tonight because it's hinging on the other information. Yeah. That yeah. we haven't got, so. Okay. All right, next item is mail. All right, we received a, um, an email from um, Boston City Councilors Edmonds and O'Malley to invite us to sign a letter in support of statewide environmental justice policy. The letter is in support of House Bill 2913 the Massachusetts Environmental Justice Act, which codifies into law an executive order on environmental justice promulgated by Governor Deval Patrick. Has, has everybody read this letter? Mm -hmm. um, any any opinions or uh, discussion on it? I think it reads, I mean, I I agree with, what it, with the intent. Um, I mean, it's basically saying everybody has a right to clean air and uh, that, yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. I know. Do I think I want to sign on to it? Probably not. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm a little, little hesitant. Yeah, I, I certainly, like I say, I support the principle, mm -hmm. but I'm not sure I support the letter. And what was wrong? I mean, it's basically in support of of a, of a bill mm -hmm. that's going through the legislature right now. Mm -hmm. How do, how do you um, how do you enforce that environmental justice policy? You know, I haven't read the bill, but you, you know, you know I mean, it basically says that when you're looking to locate a you know a new plant, a new you know something or other that's going to be dirty, you know, you you don't just put it in the place where we've traditionally always put these plants, you know. And, you know. I, I think I think if, if you want to actually deliberate on the substance, uh, I could put it on the agenda in the future if you wanted that. Yeah, I, I, I have no trouble with the principle. I just have, you know, questions about it. But we, and we don't, we don't need to sign this tonight. We don't need to support this tonight, correct? Doesn't look like there's that much urgency to it. You, you, you know, I mean, I'm surprised that you don't support. It. I mean, I mean, Governor Baker's supporting it. So. Oh, I, I it, no, it's not that I, that I don't support it. It's just that I'm I'm wondering how you're going to administer this policy. So we should we should look this up. Okay. All right, so we'll, we'll put this on the agenda for next week for, for further discussion okay. while we have some time to do some research into it. Is that is that good with everybody? Okay. All right. We're going to get more information on it? Well, I, I didn't have time to Well, review. we can at least look at the we bill that it's referring bill. to. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll uh, find that and mail it out to people. Okay, any announcements? Do we have any announcements? No announcements, okay. Our next meeting is scheduled for Tuesday, April 17th, tax day, because Monday, next Monday is a holiday because it's Patriots Day. 
Um, so we're, Would you we're, get the, before you close, yeah. could you get that planning board, to look up that planning board meeting again day for us? Yeah. I can't seem to find it on my software. I was on here and I just can't seem to find it. Mm. Oh, wait a minute. I said, see, yeah, wait a minute, here it is here. Oh, here it is. I just found it. What's, what's the date on that, Bob? 419. 419. Okay, so that's next uh, Thursday. Thursday. Next Thursday. Yeah. I don't say what time, but what time they usually... They I don't say what time it starts. Six. But which, which meeting? The planning board. That's oh, the regular yeah. meeting. Oh, yeah. She sent... Well, they sent this to the select board, but I don't know. I got it. I don't know if you guys got no, it. No, I didn't get it. Yeah. Yeah, they did. Huh. Okay, any other business to come before the board? If not, I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. Like second, all in favor? Right. Okay. Thank you, Alyssa. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Tom. Yep. Good Thank job, Mr. Warren, Tom. Thank you.